Hello guys, welcome to this new video. Um, on this one we will be looking at the elemental power tarot. Sorry if the, the lightning is kind of weird, it's kind of off like I'm super red. But it's um, it's because I'm in the living room recording today, so yeah. So we have the elemental power tarot and it's by Melinda Lee Holm. And the illustrations, it's... Uh, by anyone in particular, I think. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. But the publishing house is uh, Chicho Books over here. Okay. So this is a deck that focuses a lot on elements, like the name says. <laughs> so we will be uh, looking at elements in the cards. There's also um, Apothecary, I think it's Apothecary, how do you say it? On the cards as well, mm -hmm. in the majors. So it's a magnetic box, uh, you can see here, there's some of the cards here that you can find. We have a um, guiding book, guidebook, uh, and the guidebook is really gorgeous, like really, it has all the cards and it's not black and white, it has, look at this. Um, and on the majors, it's kind of different. Uh, you can see that in the majors, we have like an extensive page about it. We have an extensive page about it. We have the card that you can find. We have uh, the guidance. We have the challenge, and we have the apothecary on the page, uh, on the page on the on the um, on the guidebook. Because on the card, there's some kind of um, plants and herbs you can use, um, and it talks about it. Like if you're interested in it, so it starts off with. Um, the elements, explaining the elements on the cards. Uh, we have here like the illustrations that they use for the elements. So we have earth, wind, water, and fire. Um, how to how to do how to phrase the questions. Um, I don't know what what's in the read the room, but we have the apothecary here. It explains, um, and then we have some spreads over here. The selfie cross. We have a, a tab, like, is it a tab? How you say it? With all the corresponding cards and the, the symbols in uh, uh, Hebrew. I don't know how to say it. Uh, we have the association, like the meaning. We have the astrological association and the astrological association to, like, description. Um, and then we have, we go into the cards, like I mentioned, the majors. Then the majors, then after the majors, there is the, um, starts the, oh yeah, it explains, it, this, it explains also the suits, what they represent, the gemstones uh, of the suits, um, and then it starts into the cards, and it's a little bit smaller, the, the suits, um, there's a little bit less information, but that's it, um, and there's always guidance and challenge, guidance and challenge on everyone. Okay, and I think that's uh, that's it. I, I'm I'm like, I really like the book. It's really 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 great. Then we have the cards. Look at how beautiful that back of the cards the cards is. Let me put it aside um, out of the picture, or maybe yeah, I'll leave it here. We can leave it here. So yeah, this is the back of the cards, and I really liked it. Uh, the the back really really great. Um, it's like an octopus, like you know. And octopus are said to be very wise creatures. So yeah, um, the the card stock um, is kind of papery. Like if you bend it, I don't want to do that uh, because this deck will be leaving my collection. So I wanted to keep it as uh, the best quality possible. And also because I feel like it hurts me if I ever did that, even with my own cards and the cards that are part of my collection. So, but for you to understand the card quality, um, let me just tell you that if I bent this card in half, uh, like a paper, it will just stay bent. Like if I flipped over and, you know, vinked it, I, like, you know, yeah, it would stay because it is um, paper quality, really paper quality. So yeah, um, so we have the full, the full is the first card. Okay, so on the majors, this deck is really great because on the majors, 
uh, we don't have any people, like in the whole deck, actually, we don't have any people. And the majors are like situations and this deck allows you to, like why they chose not to include people, it's because for you to picture yourself in that situation, like you here being the fool and like starting your journey, you know, that's kind of the, um, the, the idea behind this deck. Uh, we have here the apothecary, like the herb. I don't remember which one it was this one, but yeah. Uh, we have here the astrological sign. So the full is Uranus. We have the number. We have the Hebrew or, or whatever letter and the name of the card. Then we have the magician. We have Mercury there. So one of the reasons I, um, I got this deck, I picked this deck, was because I love astrology and I had like really great fun understanding and getting to uh, know what cards uh, were associated with uh, with astrology, what were the elements in the cards, what were the astrological signs, what were the planets. I really like to do that. So this deck, I bought it because it would uh, help me to uh, understand better uh, that part of tarot. Um, some people don't like to mix, you know, astrology with planets and stuff and tarot they just say that it's not like there isn't any association but i love to uh associate things and i think it's very fun uh this is the high priestess so we have the moon high priestess and we have here the the fruit <laughs> uh then we have the impress see that there is no people there is the throne for you to sit on really great uh and that is um Venus. Then we have uh, the Emperor. And the Emperor there, I didn't I didn't notice, but there is like um oh the it's probably the, the plant, the, the plant associated, you know, there is that spicy hot um pepper there. Really great. Uh, and we have the ram there, I didn't notice, and the throne over here. So it's Aries, if you didn't know. Um, then we have the Eurofant. Really nice. It's Taurus. Uh, then we have the Lovers. Look how different they are. <laughs> really great. It's Gemini. Then we have the Chariot. It's Cancer. Then we have Strength. And that's Leo. The Hermit, and we have Virgo, the Will of Fortune, and we have Jupiter. We have Justice, so we have Libra. We have the Hangman, and that's that's literally upside down. It like old image is upside down, really great. And that is uh, Neptune. Then we have Death, and that is Scorpio. We have Temperance. So it's Sagittarius. Oops. We have the devil. So it's Capricorn. And you can see here there's coins. You know. Those are coins. Then we have the tower. Oh, and we have lightning. I never noticed. And it's um, Mars. And the lightning, you can see, it's all over here. Wow. And then we have the star. That's um, uh, Aquarius. <laughs> I was about to say something bad. That is Aquarius. Then we have the moon and it's Pisces. Oh, we have there uh, a, a, a spaceship. <laughs> nice. Um, very nice. Then we have the sun. The sun is the sun. We have judgment, which is Pluto. Then we have the world, which is... Uh, my god, I got confused for a minute. So it's Saturn. I had to take a moment to remember what that sign meant. Okay, then we go into the suits. And I think everyone agrees with me that the most beautiful part of this deck is the Major Arcana. The suits are kind of... They're pipish. They are very big. They're very big. But it's not bad but just bad <laughs> i think they could have done 
a little bit more work. I mean, the aces are really beautiful and stuff, but the other cards are like, eh. You know, I had pipish uh, decks before. I had um, one that I recently um, also um, will be getting rid of it. It's the Harmony Tarot. And the Harmony Tarot, it's very pipish. It's all about, you know, flowers and stuff. And you can see that it's all flowers and stuff, but the cards are not the same. Like the flower, for example, on the six of wands, there is like a ribbon, you know, of like success over the card. And that like uh, differentiates it from the other cards. And it gives you an idea of something. This ones, you just look at the cards and they're all basically the same. There's just three cups, you know, like nothing really, nothing really comes out of it, you know. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, so there's water, this is the, the element of water we saw on the, on the book, on the guidebook. Then we have the Three, Three of Cups, and there's the element over there as well, okay? Four of Cups. So there's two cups down, two cups up, but that is that it's about it. Maybe it's just me, you know, because maybe somebody else would look at the cards and be like, oh, they're really great and I, I can really tune into my intuition. But for me, it kind of, um, I don't know, it leaves me a little bit wishing it would be a little bit more detailed. Not so much, but a, like a little bit of something would make a difference. We have the six, the seventh, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs> it's just a world weird world. I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, sorry, but yeah. Um, then we have the page, and I will try to explain uh, how it works. Maybe you guys already noticed, but we have two elements here. We have the cups, so the water, we have the page, and the earth here. So how do I know if it's like, some people, I remember seeing um, like flip throughs of this deck and people were like, oh, I have to look at the card and I, I have to go to the, to the guidebook to know which court card it is. But if you are into elements like me, you know the page, pages are always earth, they always have earth. So this one is the page of cups, okay? Because there's the water behind it, the center, like the the main element is water and the other element that is present is earth over here, okay? So it's easy to know. Also, um, the crown is very simple, okay? Then we go next. So if you study the elements on the cards, you know that knights always have fire. So this one is the knight of cups, you know? fire over here then you know that the queens always have water they always have water so we only have water on this one nothing else no other element so this is the queen of wands queen of cups sorry queen of cups <laughs> that's what i wanted to say and on this one we have bubbles and what causes bubbles air so this is the king of cups so page of cups Knight of Cups, I don't know if I said them right, um, Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Okay, then we have the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords, you know, there's the all the, the clouds, the wind. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have... You can see here, there's like mountains or something. We have the wind. So this is the page of sorts. Here we have fire and wind. So this is the night of sorts. Here we have like a storm. You know, what, cre what creates a storm? When, when you are at the sea, what creates like the big waves? It's the wind, okay? So we have... Wind here, and we have water here, stormy water. A lot, lot, of, um, lot of storm, like a lot of stormy waters, okay? A lot of waves and stuff. 
So this is the queen. It's the queen because water of sorts. And then we have the king of sorts. The king of sorts, it's, it's air and air. Okay. So this deck is really good for you to understand the elements in the cards, on, on, on the court cards, on the on tarot. It's really good, a good deck for that. So we have, look at all this, this energy here. We have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands. There's only fire in the picture. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Here we have fire and earth. So it's the page of wands. We also have here. And you can see that the, um, the crowns are made of the material of the suit. Like this one is all about, it's, it's all wood. So, yeah. It's interesting how they pictured, how they, how they designed the deck. Here we have just fire because it's the Knight of Wands. It's only fire and fire. Then we have here, behind everything, we have water. You can see that it's that, you know, thing of water over there. I don't know how to, uh, how to say it. But yeah, we have water and we have fire. So this is the Queen of Wands. Then we have the clouds, so it's, you know, air, air and fire, that's the king of wands. Really nice. Then we have the ace, and the ace has this little coin over here with the octopus. It says Terra, also here. Oh, nice. I never noticed this. <laughs> okay, so it's earth. And then we have the two pentacles. Three of Pentacles, there's a person here. Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the page. The page here has little coins over there. Look how cute that is. Uh, and it's only Earth can see it's only the earth element because the, um, the element of pentacles is the earth and the pages are always earth as well so it's earth earth then we have the knight we have here fire you can see there's fire here on the earth so this is the knight of pentacles and we have water passing through the earth you know and that is the queen of pentacles then we have the clouds it was like it was like there was um, a hole that was digged, you know, and there's like um, the wind, the wind, the, the clouds, the air element over there and earth. So this is the king of pentacles. OK, so hopefully I didn't make a lot of um, confusion here because, you know, my, my mind is going way too fast, like way, way too fast and faster than my mouth um, usually. So sometimes I just mix up everything that I say but I just realized when I finished the video and yeah that's um that's it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um oh wait let me t let me tell you let me tell you about the um, shuffling so shuffling with this deck uh I feel it's very very big it's very big to shuffle really big um and it kind of turns me off a little bit, I have to be honest, when I need to shuffle with it. Because, one, I'm always afraid to ruin it because it's so papery, you know. And, uh, two, it's really big to shuffle. Sometimes I just shuffle, like, upwards. But it's not the same for me. Um, so, so yeah. Um, that is it. Um, I think. Oh, look, we have the world card. <laughs> So should we look at one card? Yeah, maybe let's look at the world card. Card, sorry. So the world card is the 21. It's the last of the majors. Let me go. So I'll also show you guys um, like what it says. So on the guidebook. 
So there's a description, a small dis description. Dig deep to clear the soil of your life. Keep only what contributes to the health of your spiritual and emotional garden. Oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not looking at the right one. Okay. <laughs> this was like, uh, no, I don't have it. This was judgment, which makes sense. Like you can see in the judgment card, there's all these things. And usually judgment, it's about getting rid of what no longer serves you, like of all the clutter that does not matter anymore. Um, like letting go of parts of you that no longer serve you and stuff like that. So it makes sense, that description. But our card is not the judgment, it's the world. And this, the world is over here. So the description is step further into uncertainty you are being reborn into a new version of yourself wow very nice then we have among the swirling stars and galaxies of the universe a small beam of light grows larger and larger until you can see that it's actually a short a sort of doorway through it, a field of wildflowers and weeds stretches into the distance, inviting you to step across the threshold and into a new wor world. Oh, this is nice. Then we have the guidance. We have the challenge. I'm going to just read the apothecary. So we have Dandelion promotes expansion, cleansing of the physical and etheric bodies and luck. The greens can be eaten as a vegetable. It is commonly available as a tea. And we have the, the dandelions. I think it's over here, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the dandelions. Yeah. So that is the, um, the plant on the world card. Is the dandelions. Okay. Um, for example, on the challenge, it says transformation takes time to unfold. Once the dust of the portal settles, you may feel disappointed that things look similar to what they were. You are the one who has changed. Allow yourself time to prove how far you have come. We have the guidance. One chapter is ending and another beginning. The world card is about that. It's about ending a cycle, being successful. Start like It could also be a traveling card for you to, you know... Um, start moving somewhere you know so yeah makes very like a lot of sense for now you are in the space between exactly because you ended the cycle and you're about to begin one but you didn't begin yet you know you are there uh in the middle um able to reflect on the past while contemplating the future in this liminal state you are both expanding and contracting filling up with what you need for the journey ahead and being emptied of all excess baggage. It can be disorienting. Disorienting. Trust that you are well cared for. This portal will deposit you exactly where you need to be. You may not be able to see where that is right now, and that is probably for the best. Your vision has not yet expanded enough to see the full range of possibilities. Your job now is to remain open. Think of it as trembling uphill. Trembling? Tumbling. Tumbling. I think it's tumbling. You might get a little dizzy, but you will eventually come to a resting state and get your bearings. Okay, so that makes so much sense that they used a portal, a portal for the, um, the world card, you know, because you, 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 you are still like in the past or like in, the, in, in, the, in, the, in between, you know, like you are not there in the, in the, in the field, but you are not in the past state that you are like transporting from one uh, dimension to another for like ending a cycle and starting another it's a really great card uh really like it okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this um walkthrough i'm sorry there there's my birds making noise um i hope you guys enjoyed this flip through walk through whatever of this deck um i really like this deck i think like if they improved the quality of the cards I mean it's not bad but it's kind of kind of makes you um kind of makes you uh like I feel like I can't just do anything with it because I'm afraid of ruining it so um I have to be extra careful I feel that it's very fragile so yeah if they improve that with that quality that thing this deck is like it's really great that like, has a lot of information in one car there's a lot of information it explains like the guidebook explains you a lot of things although it's like very thin but it explains 
the elements, explains um, the plants, the elements, explains the card, why they chose. It's not Raider Whitey Smith. Um, for me, I don't think it is because... Um, yeah, the, even even the Pippish cards has nothing to do with Raider Whitey because if you know um, Raider Whitey, you know that the Two of Swords is uh, usually two crossed swords, and here they are, they are separated. You know, so it's really not um, Raider Whitey based. So I would say this deck is probably an advanced deck. So yeah. Um, I think that's that's all I wanted to say. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I hope you liked it and I hope to see you on another uh, video that I make. Bye guys!